what we've got here is a clock assembly. So we have um, the clock base, or the clock face, and two rotating hands, so a big hand and a small hand, a minute and an hour. Now, what we're going to do is relate uh, a mate that will allow us to input the time and it will automatically govern the positions of the small and the big hand. Now, this is where um, global variables and equations come into play. So, I've already created my two angle mates, which are just driven by a value at the moment. So first off, I'm just going to unsuppress both of these. And they're currently set at an angle with uh, the planes of the assembly and uh, the small hands themselves. Now, what I'm going to do is do a tools, equations, and I'm going to create four global variables. So a global variable, for anyone that doesn't know, is just a consistent value, which we can update in here, and it will update uh, all aspects of our assembly at once, whenever linked. So the global variable itself, we're going to set up uh, an increment, which, which is going to be um, 360 divided by 60. So this is going to be for the minute. Just call that increment minute. And then we have an increment hour as well, which is going to be 360 divided by 12. Now, next we want the time in minutes, which is going to be set to, we'll make it 11 for the moment. And then we have time in hours, which we'll set to 25. So it's 11, or sorry, <laughs> did that the wrong way around. So it's 11.25. Now once we've done that, we want to relate those global variables into an equation to drive our angle mates. So I'm going to take the first angle mate here, which is for the small hand, which is the other hand, and I'm just going to double click on this value. So the moment I've just set that to 300 degrees, I'm going to do an equals global variable uh, for hour multiplied by the global variable time hour. For the second mate, you don't do exactly the same, but for the minute, so increment minutes multiplied by time in minutes. And then I'm just going to update my assembly, and you'll see it now moves to 11.25. If I go to my design tree and manage equations, I can set this to any time, so say 6, 10 for instance. Then automatically updates on my clock face.